wars, earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, hurricanes, scorching heat, and deadly animals. These are some of the things that make us all stay alert in our beautiful planet Earth. While all of these things bring chaos and destruction to our world, some people really like the thrill of stepping into dangerous places and defy the rules of life itself. Today I'll be showing you some of the most dangerous places on Earth. If you like to play it safe, my intention is to warn you and help you avoid getting too close to these places. Otherwise, I'm here to encourage the curious traveler within you and send you to places your mom and dad would want you to stay away from. It's not easy to get to these places anyway, so why not start by watching a video and decide whether they're worth visiting. I put many of them on my bucket list, but definitely not number one. You'll be shocked to see what happens to people who have been to that one, honestly. Number 10. Fraser Island, Australia. Eh, of course the first one's Australia. Fraser Island is one of those very remote places in Australia that might fool you at first sight. As soon as you arrive, you'll probably think you're in a paradisal holiday destination. White sand, beaches, pristine, crystal clear waters. And of course, an unusual rainforest growing on sand dunes. This place is actually pretty unique. However, Fraser Island is also home to some of the most threatening creatures you'll ever face. Wild and aggressive dingoes, which by the way are known to be the purest strain in Eastern Australia. Poisonous spiders, lethal jellyfish, and hungry, hungry sharks. These creatures will make sure only the brave ones come to the island and probably don't leave. They certainly do make Fraser Island a dangerous destination, but that doesn't take away any of its beauty. Number 9. Donakil Desert, East Africa. If I can be honest, the desert is a very challenging place for me. It's hot, it's dry, it gets in my shoes, it has a whole bunch of sand which is rough and coarse and bleh. Why then did I choose to live in Arizona? However, there are some positives to it. It's filled with great views of blue skies, sand dunes, maybe some cactus. Yeah, it's pretty neat. You can go sandboarding and roll on the ground, and at the end, sand becomes the desert what snow is in the North Pole. A lot of pretty cool dust to play with. However, things are a little different at Dunnerkill Desert. In here, the daytime heat can reach temperatures of 50 degrees Celsius, making it a very challenging place to go on a trip. Imagine the people living there. They must be used to some pretty extreme heat by now. The high temperatures are a result of the many geysers and volcanoes in the area, which also release toxic gases that added to the difficulty of being here. If that wasn't enough, there have been many cases of people getting kidnapped and other tragic events in the area. For that reason, the Denakil is not like other deserts and is definitely one of the most dangerous on Earth. Number 8. Oymyakon, Russia. Sure, you may not be able to stand the heat, but can you stand the cold? I'm not so sure you'll be saying that after a visit to Omayakon, Russia, one of the coldest places on Earth, with one of the lowest temperatures ever reported, which is a whopping negative 71.2 degrees Celsius. Nick Middleton, a renowned writer and geographer, visited Omayakon and noted that the reason why the place is so cold is because the town is tucked between two mountain ranges that trap cold winds within them. In fact, he noted that the wind at the top of these mountains is less cold than the wind down the valley where Omayakon is located. Cold air is heavier than regular air and gets pulled down naturally by gravity. The terrible temperature has made it impossible for humans to live there. In fact, only 500 people manage to survive the threatening weather. They do not have access to cell phones as the cold weather doesn't allow them to function properly and it's hard to grow any crops there. People honestly have a hard time living in this place and an outsider would not likely make it to the next morning alive. Number 7. Mount Sinabung, Indonesia. Up to the north of Sumatra Island in Indonesia, an active stratovolcano volcano becomes the backdrop of what's considered one of the most dangerous places in Indonesia and all around the world. While Indonesia is the country with the most volcanoes in the world, what makes Mount Sinabung a real threat is the constant eruptions that happen there. In the last couple of years, there was a major eruption in 2010 and another one in 2013, another one in 2014, and also one in 2015, and another one in 2016. Oh, and there was one in 2019 as well. These eruptions have obviously caused the deaths of many people, and the volcano area and its surroundings are always on high alert. Number 6. Lake Natron, Tanzania. Right at the border between Tanzania and Kenya, we can find the Lake Natron, a body of water that looks like something straight out of a horror film. It has a high pH level between 9 and 10.5, its temperature can be as high as 60 degrees Celsius, and the place is overflowing with salt. This deadly chemical combination can easily calcify dead bodies and burn your skin. Any ink or printed materials will come off were it to fall on these waters. 
A while ago, a group of documentary filmmakers were flying on a helicopter over the lake when they suddenly had an accident that made them crash into the waters of the lake. Most of them were injured and one of them even claims that his eyes started burning. What exactly was their purpose there? Well, it turns out they were there to film flamingos during their breeding season. They realize that the flamingos come to this lake since its deadly waters keep predators away. This impossibly dangerous and corrosive lake is not the kind of place you'll want to swim, but it's definitely a nice set for an apocalyptic movie. Number 5. Snake Island, Brazil. And here's another island with deadly creatures. And funnily enough, this one also made it to our list of forbidden places in the world. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, editor, please put it up. Either way, this is Snake Island in Brazil. This island is about 25 miles off the coast of Sao Paulo, but it's not necessarily one of those islands you want to just go for for a nice little day trip. The place is infested with deadly golden lancehead snakes. Experts say that once you step into this island, you'll never be more than three feet from a snake. This is the kind of animal that can melt your flesh with just one bite. To keep visitors safe, the Brazilian government has made it illegal to visit such a place. And who would want to challenge their law anyway? It's not a place someone would die to go for. Number 4. North Sentinel Island. And here's another one that's also on our list of forbidden places. North Sentinel Island. According to Indian laws, you are never allowed to come closer than three miles to this island. The reason for this is that the Sentinelanese, who are the inhabitants of the island, are very hostile towards any outsiders. Back in 2018, a young American man tried to get to them and ended up getting killed by the locals. Of course, the local people who helped him get there had to face the Indian authorities. It seems like there are always ways to break the law, but don't expect to avoid facing any consequences for it. These islanders definitely don't want to know anything about the outside world. Instead of a warm welcome, you'll get a bow and arrow pointed at you, and you probably won't survive to tell us the story. Number 3. Maliusu, Kyrgyzstan. Maliusu is one of the most radioactive places on Earth. This small town in Kyrgyzstan was responsible for mining and processing of uranium ore for the Soviet Union from 1946 to 1968. When uranium processing did not generate significant profit anymore, the people in this town became jobless. However, the consequences of working so close with uranium stayed with them. The exposure to radioactive material can interfere with the proper development of people's health in the area. And this town alone was home to about 23,000 people, and all of them must constantly watch out for landslides, earthquakes, and floods as these natural disasters only increase the risk of radioactive contamination. If you value your life, you probably want to stay away from this place. Now it's time for the day's best pick. For today's best pick, I have this picture of people having fun at what seems to be the edge of the world. This is what I picture the Earth would be like if Flat Earthers were right. <laughs> I can't say that. <sighs> flat Earthers being right. That's funny. Either way, this picture does show a huge and infinite waterfall drop at the end of the world. While the Flat Earth waterfall drop is not a proven fact, this picture is of a real place, and today I'll introduce you to it as one of the most dangerous places on Earth. Number 2. Devil's Pool at Victoria Falls, Zambia. Victoria Falls are already some of the largest waterfalls on Earth. They're majestically huge from afar, and this is a place you can enjoy with your eyes. But you probably wouldn't think this is a place where you can swim and relax. But actually, there is a natural swimming pool right on the edge of the falls, and it's called Devil's Pool. It seems like people who get here have a blast, looking at their beautiful surroundings while probably wondering what would happen if something goes wrong and they're dragged down one of the falls. What a great vacation. This is an experience for real daredevils. However, there are some ways to experience this dangerous, dangerous spot while taking some safety measures. All it takes is hiring the help of a local and visiting between mid-August and mid-January, which is when the pool is officially open for public since it's considered safer during that time. Would you dare to swim in these waters? If you do, make sure you take a picture at least. There aren't many places on Earth where you can put your life at risk like this. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Bermuda Triangle. Imagine going on a journey and knowing that you might never be able to come back from it. In fact, no one on Earth will be able to find you at all after embarking on such a journey. Last on my list, I have a place where a lot of people have gone missing. 
a place that you probably heard about before, and due to all the unexplainable phenomenons that happen there, I can easily call it the most dangerous place on Earth. I am of course talking about the Bermuda Triangle, a geographical area between Miami, Puerto Rico, and the island of Bermuda. If you draw lines to connect these places, you'll get a triangle, which is where the name comes from. The Bermuda Triangle is not an island, or a city, or a specific spot. It's just a section on the map that has been the scenario for the disappearance of more than 50 ships and 20 airplanes. These mysterious events date back to as early as the 19th century, when some ships were discovered without a trace of any of its passengers. The ships that go missing didn't even report any signs of distress. While some people like to speculate and credit the phenomenon to supernatural causes, others believe that the environment and the triangle's position are to blame. This part of the Atlantic is known to have waves so big that they could crash and damage a ship without leaving any evidence of its existence. Also, the Bermuda Triangle is often hit by storms from multiple directions, which would make it difficult for anyone to survive. Whether it is caused by nature or by supernatural forces, one thing is for sure. I ain't gonna take a trip to this place. Would you? I wouldn't. And there you have it, 10 of the most dangerous places on Earth. Would you dare to go to any of these places? Who would you take with you on such a journey? Let us know in the comment section down below. I hope you all have a good day, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.